Becky Streepy from Glue and Glitter, and today we are going to make this super easy coconut sticky rice in the Instant Pot. Before we get to the recipe, I did want to talk about a few things that you'll want to know and answer a couple of questions I anticipate. That way you will have perfect results just like I did. The first thing to know about this recipe is what kind of coconut milk to use. When you're shopping at the grocery store, you'll probably encounter at least three different kinds of coconut milk and only one of them will work in this recipe. The first kind that you do not want to use is the kind that comes in a carton. That'll be in the refrigerator section next to like the soy milk and the almond milk. That is not going to give you the coconut flavor that you want in this rice. Don't do it. The other kind to not use unless you absolutely must is light coconut milk. Light coconut milk is diluted to make it lower fat. Um, but when you give up that fat, you give up a little bit of the creamy mouthfeel that this recipe has and the coconut flavor. So the kind of milk that you do want to use is the full fat coconut milk that comes in a can like this. You don't have to use this brand. This was just the store brand at the store around the corner for me. Feel free to use the store brand at the store around the corner from you. But full fat coconut milk is going to give you the results that you want with this recipe. You don't normally have to soak rice, but what the soaking does in this recipe is help the rice break down a little bit before cooking, and that is what's going to yield that sticky texture when you're done. The soaking time that I list, 30 minutes, is a minimum. If you can soak for an hour or even two hours, you'll get even stickier results, but if you're in a hurry, 30 minutes will be fine. Just know that more soaking will be stickier. So the next thing I want to talk about is what kind of rice to use. This is a white rice recipe. You can't use brown rice with the liquid amounts and cooking time that I mentioned here. You also don't want to use arborio rice. That also uses a lot more liquid and cooks for a bit longer than white rice does. White rice is your friend. You can use short, medium, or long grain. The shorter the grain, the stickier your results will be. I used long grain here because that's the kind that was available by me, but feel free to use whatever grain length you like. Let's talk about the ginger in this recipe. If you don't want a spicy coconut rice, you can omit the ginger if you like, but if you are using the ginger, I wanted to give you my mincing ginger time-saving trick. Yes, you can use a knife to mince it up fine if you have the time and want to do that. But what I like to do is I just put it right in my blender, pulse it a couple of times, and it minces it up perfectly in a fraction of the time it would take to mince it by hand. The last thing I wanted to talk about is how to serve this rice. This is a really versatile recipe because coconut is such a versatile flavor, right? You can use coconut in desserts, but you can also use coconut in savory dishes. So this is great as a side dish alongside something like a stir fry, but you can also use it as a dessert. I love to Serve this up in a bowl topped with fresh sliced mango and maybe a drizzle of maple syrup or agave if I want something a little bit sweeter. So that's all the notes you need to know about this recipe. Let's cut to the overhead and get cooking. 